but you could also call me k scarlet um a lot of people call me k scarlet that's my business name and that's what people have known me by for the past for the past um eight years or is it seven years <laughs> anyways i started makeup around 2016 but um the main reason why i started makeup was I actually loved the creative part of makeup I love the creative part of makeup but as time went by and I decided to be a professional makeup artist I found out that that part of me um, loving the creative side and all that really slowed down like it really started dying down because most of the clients most of the people i meet or i get to work with don't really um want that kind of makeup you know like they prefer you know normal makeup they use for their events and i didn't really get the opportunity to explore that creative side of makeup that extra extra creative side of makeup and at a point i realized that that part of me started dying <laughs> it literally started dying down and i don't know i just accepted it or whatever but on this day on this particular day i was feeling so down i was feeling so so down i've been going through a lot lately like so much that i can't even start talking about like so many things going on at the same time and it's like it just feels like my life is in a rush like i'm in a rat race or something and it's so overwhelming so i actually didn't want to do a voiceover for this look i wanted to just sit down there and do my thing just explore just a bit of my creative um side to do something that really resonates with me to do something i've always you know something i've always loved doing if you knew me earlier in my makeup journey when i just started i did more of the creative looks on my own on myself so yeah that's what i just decided to do today it's not something overly dramatic but it's just i just i didn't have a look in mind a particular look in mind i was just flowing with whatever came to mind and i realized that when i'm doing makeup especially when i'm doing makeup on myself i don't think so much about every other thing going on around me i just focus on what i'm trying to create i just focus on you know i'm i'm not really concerned about the whole craziness i'm just inside my head and inside my makeup and that was something i really really needed on this particular day if you're going through a tough time or a rough patch one thing that would really help is to do something that you enjoy doing although it might be so difficult to actually get up and do that thing before i sat down on this chair to do this makeup i was on my bed for hours tossing and turning and just thinking of my life and busy myself up but when i actually motivated myself to get up and just start doing something that i love i felt really really better anyways if you're new to this channel thank you so much for stopping by this channel is everything beauty and everything makeup i just decided to do something different today you know just rant a little and do a little bit of get ready with me and distress with me 
anyways this is a final look at this point my ears were gone like they were hot and because of that band i don't know who invented that it's good but it hurts so bad anyways this is the final look thank you so much for watching and listening to my little rant what do you think about this look i love this look personally i love this look so much it's more of me and it's not all it's not so dramatic but it's also easy it's also something you can create it's not so difficult to achieve and it looks so good for my next video i'm going to be doing this look lip tutorial you won't believe i did this entire lip with just eyeshadow and lip gloss so i'm going to show you how in my next video so do stick around and see you in my next video thank you for watching bye